leave a like and subscribe if you find this helpful. Now in this guide, I'm breaking down the warrior build on Legend of Mushroom. This build is for the swordsman path of warriors, which will end once you reach Martial Sage. This is a tank build, so it will be near impossible to die. All items and skills in this guide will be accessible without events, so everyone can follow the guide. The swordsman path's main bonuses are restore 15% of max HP, counters increased by 30%, Defense increased by 30%, damage resistance increased by 10%, gain a shield every 10 seconds, and increased damage resistance by 2% every 10% of HP that we lose. We will be building out our swordsmen to work off of those bonuses. Starting out with the pals, we will need the electric pup to restore 1% of lost HP on a counter, hipster tortoise to gain a shield when HP is below 50%, Angel Deer for 15% more damage resistance, Tipsy Snail to slow enemies by 40%, and Kung Fu Master for 40% health regeneration. If you happen to have Rainbow Guardian, use him to gain 10% more counters instead of Angel Deer. For skills, we will need Blitz Assault to gain 3 seconds of being invincible, Dazzled to stun enemies, Disarm to disarm enemies, Shroom Shield to gain a shield every 10 seconds, and Nature's Renewal to recover 30% of max HP. Both the skills and pals are set up to keep us at full health, have a shield, and slow down enemies. For relics, you will want Ironclad Mask for 10% more counters, Immunity Book to become immune for 3 seconds when your HP drops below 70% when fighting a boss, Time Statue to boost the effects of Disarm and Dazzled by 50% and the rest of the artifacts are up to you. The main artifact that you need is the immunity book as it will make us invincible when fighting bosses. For your gear, you really just need to be getting the highest rarity that you can. None of them do anything special. For the mount, level this up as high as possible, but if you have the horizon racer, use that to knock back enemies every 10 seconds so we don't take damage. On your shroomite statue, you will want to get global HP and global defense. For the artifact, just use the default artifact unless you have the spring cord. Spring cord confuses enemies every 5 seconds, so that can be helpful. And of course, make sure you are getting all your bonuses that you can from the tech park. And that'll do it for this guide. Comment below if you have any questions, and I will try to help.